welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is louise my channel is a haul every saturday always get this bit out of the way first um i always do a haul on a saturday and two about two midweek videos which is what we're aiming for at the moment and i'm doing okay so you this will be one of the ones you're watching midweek i assume uh this is actually um an amazon video um a few things i bought from amazon that i really enjoy and i think it'll be something maybe you would enjoy or some of you would enjoy so i was just going to show you what i've got and why i enjoy them and why you might enjoy them you know that type of video so if you enjoy listening to someone talk rubbish for a while which i'm really good at um and you fancy subscribing down below please go ahead and um, comment and like would be lovely because i do like reading your comments even if i can't get back to you i will heart it so you know i have read your comments and i do pay attention to them um so today i've got three items that uh, two that i got for christmas one i actually got with christmas vouchers so they're all for, from christmas really um all from amazon and for different reasons i'm really really enjoying them um and I think they may be things that you might want to think about. They might not be things you've thought about, but they might be worth it. So I have no particular order. They are all behind us. Let's go with the first one. I don't have the instruction manual. I have been wanting to do this video for a long time. For some reason, I've been overthinking it. Don't know why. Um, thinking it's going to be, I don't know, too complicated. I'm not going to know what to say, which is really silly because if you know me, as soon as this camera comes on, I don't shut up. So, um, don't know why I ever thought it, but I did have the manual and I kept it and kept it in a specific area. So I knew it would be ready for this video and then I decided to tidy up before actually doing the video. And you know, it's one of them, you tidy up and can't find anything jobs. There's a number of things I've tidied up this week and I can't find any of them. It's frustrating, but <laughs> let's go on with this one. So I'm going to go with this one first. Now this is one I actually asked for for Christmas um, and Corey got me this one. So this is, it is a heated throw. Now, the reason, there's a couple of reasons I thought this one would be good, particularly right now, with the uh, price increases. Um, I have saved so much money, seriously, I have not put the heating on anywhere close to the amount of times I would have put the heating on. Um, I am one of them people that I love the hot weather and I absolutely hate the cold. If my feet get cold, that's it, game over, I am cold. <laughs> Doesn't matter what you do. <laughs> I'm gonna be cold. In the winter, I have the heating on on a regular basis because it hurts. You know, like with fibro, cold can hurt you. Um, it, it hurts your joints and it, it's just awful. I hadn't thought about this before, but it kept coming up over the winter. So I thought, oh, put it on the Amazon list because we started doing a whole Amazon thing for Christmas. And Corey got me this one. It's like, oh my God, I can't even explain how good this thing is. This is just the empty box. So when you open it, Clearly, like I told you, you'll have a manual, which I can't show you. It just tells you how to use this. You'll get the, this part, and you'll get the throw. And is all you do with this is, this bit connects to the throw. So on the throw, you'll have this bit. And you've got a little knobbly bit, one side and not the other, so you know which bit goes in. Knobbly side on the front. It literally clips in. That's it. It's ready to go. So you have your blanket, clearly, which is a really good size. Now, and I must say, if you are looking for this, it's the blanket you want. There are two. There's, um, sorry, it's the throw you want. Um, you specifically have to look for the throw. If you get the blanket, the blanket is the one that actually goes on your mattress, and you can't wrap it around you. This one, you can wrap it around you. It has like you can feel. It feels like the very very thin wire going through through it, um, but it doesn't affect. You know, you can scrunch it up, you can, you know, wrap it around my feet, um, wrap it around my body. <clears throat> I've had dogs getting in it with me, all sorts. It's absolutely amazing. So if I'm getting chilly, I'll just shove this on. I have not, I must admit, gone through the manual properly. So you have nine settings on this. Should I turn it on to show you? Let me turn it on. So it's really simple to... Right, it's really simple to use. So I've just just plugged it in, make sure I'll turn it on. Okay, so we've plugged it in. I'm just gonna quickly go through how quickly this, how easy this is to use. This is probably the reason I've not looked at the instruction manual. So you've got your on off button. On, you've got a red zero and a green zero. I don't know if you can see that. So you've got three buttons, temperature, 
time and high is it's gone on the highest setting for nine hours. I just put it on there because I don't fall asleep with it or anything like that. I don't need it to be put on a timer. As soon as I'm warmed up and I'm done, I just turn it off. So let's go back. When you click temperature, you get L for low, and then it goes up one, two, three, four, you know, up in your settings, that's your heat settings, to seven, so that's your highest. And then it'll click round, if you keep clicking, it'll just gonna go round and round. So you find the setting you're after. So, and then the little green number, is your hours so you click it and it'll just keep going round one two three four whatever amount of hours and that is literally it it's honestly it's really warm already it's cozy i mean i'm not cold so it's getting really warm um <laughs> this thing apparently only you it uses like pennies in you like if you have it on for the nine hours it's going to use your pennies imagine putting the heating on for nine hours Honestly, this thing is going to save you money. The reason I thought it would be a good idea to actually... Let me move you back now we've seen it. This is the first time I've done this type of video, so we're going to be all over the place. So the reason I thought that that, that would be a good thing to put on now, to explain to you now, is because, obviously, we're all having issues with the um, energy price rises. We know it's going to get worse. What does everybody do? In the summer, everyone goes out and buys their fans. In the winter, everyone goes out and buys their throws. So companies put the prices up. So I was thinking because it's not really cold, you know, it's England, it's always cold sometime, um, but we're in summer, that might be the thing to start thinking about purchasing before the winter, when they're gonna hike the prices up. Um, you know, if you're in the house on your own, or even with the kids, you could sit under that, watch a film, you haven't got to put the whole the heating on in the whole house. I think it's an amazing idea. I didn't realise how good one of them was going to be. I actually did think it was going to be one of those purchases that I just weren't going to end up using. But I, I have it with me all the time. In the winter, like at Christmas, I would carry it downstairs and it would just be sat on the side of the sofa until I wanted to use it. And I'd just carry it upstairs when I go to bed. Um, absolutely... I love it. I, I absolutely love it. If that ever breaks <laughs> or, or it gets used, that will be next one on my list of things to purchase. That is such a good buy. It saves so much money. So you think whatever your initial outlay on that, you're going to be saving. So I really wanted to show you that because it was something I really didn't know an awful lot about because I just, it, I don't know. I, I don't know if anybody else is, you just think heated blankets, heated throws, that type of thing is more for the elderly. I don't know why we all think that, you know, it's for anybody that's cold, <laughs> always cold. So absolutely love that one. Um, I will be putting affiliate links down below just so you can click on, have a look at statistics and all that sort of stuff because clearly I'm not going to be able to give you all that, that type of info. You can look at reviews. There'll be other ones you can click on from there you know because they always um advertise other ones you might want a larger one that would be a, that would be a single size one i would say i could comfortably get another person under it though um so that was my number one absolute favorite this one was one i just i think it was one of those you know when you're on amazon and you and you see something you think oh that's a quite a good idea i quite fancy giving that a go don't know if it'll work or not so this one no, so I can't give you prices. They'll be on the uh, affiliate link. You're just going to have to look at prices on the affiliate link. But this one is only a couple of quid, I'm sure. Um, Corey, again, got this off of my Amazon list. And he actually said, oh, did you know you get two of them? So I've actually got two of them. This is my new one. I have one upstairs that I use. So this is actually like a, a scrubber when you um, put shampoo on. Now, the reason that I like this, there's a couple, actually, there's a couple of reasons I like this one so much. One, you've got these like bendy sort of bristles in it and like you put it in your on your hand like that so it sits very very comfortably in your hand put your shampoo on and then you scrub it in with this so one you're getting a really nice head head, head massage which it is really really nice um so you get your head massage but you can also feel every bit of your scalp that has been shampooed and cleaned so that's number one reason number two reason is with fibro you can only keep your hands on your head, scrubbing your head for so long. Um, and sometimes it just gets too much. You know, even when you you, you let your arms relax and, and you give it a minute and you go back in there, you can only get so far in and do it so well. Um, and it just never feels just quite there. <laughs> you know, you have to be in the shower for a long time. This cuts the timing off. You know it's got right in there. Actually, just thought of another thing, the reason that I like this so much. I did notice in the first week of using it, 
I have to wash my hair, I don't have to wash my hair as often. So it clearly gets in and cleans way better. I was doing that, you know, having to wash it every other day. I could get away with twice a week, easy. Um, so there's so many good things for this. And you know, look at it. You, you wouldn't think that that would make any difference to your life. I absolutely love it. It is amazing. So many good uh, reasons for this one. So yeah, that one will be down below. And the last one, I actually bought this one with vouchers I had for Christmas. Um, as you know, with fibro, sometimes you have like low energy and things. And I always try, first of all, to find out if there's a reason for it, apart from fibro. And second, if it is fibro, what can I do where I'm not just going to the doctors and, and getting some prescription pills? Because they don't work most of the time. Um, it's one of those conditions that... Even if you can get a combination of pills you're happy with, you're still going to be in pain. You're still going to have all the other symptoms that come with fibro. So, we, I was going through quite, quite a, I was going through quite a patch of, I think like more depression and low energy and stuff. And somebody suggested the like therapy lamp. I think they call it a sad lamp. I thought, oh, I don't know if it'll work. But I actually spoke to a girl at work who's, who who does suffer from depression. She said it has made a difference to her. So I did try to use it and oh it does, it, it's weird, it's like, it's one of those things where you use it and you don't just suddenly, oh I've used it once, I've got all this amazing energy and I'm so energetic and I'm so happy, it's not like that. It's like a week later I thought, I just realised like I haven't been as sad as I was and I haven't, I have been getting up a little bit more and doing a little bit more than I was before, it was like that. It's, it's, it's hard to explain it so I there is definitely benefits clearly I haven't had to use it recently because the sun's been out and I will always go out and try and get that natural vitamin D and you know get everything from the sun um, but you know in England the clouds come over so much and when it's winter it, it, you're gonna go months without it so this one was I think it was 17.99 for this one you have um, two buttons on it one is the light you have two two brightnesses of light and the other one is how long you want it on for. So you have a 15, 30, 45 or 60 minute. There is an instruction manual with this one as well. And it goes through, you know, what it is you're after out of it. How long they recommend. I think you start on a lower setting and work your way up to whatever setting works best for you. But this one, you know, so many people that just assume they have depression. It might not be depression. It could be the lack of sunlight because you know as human beings we need certain natural things from nature um and with you know modern day living we don't get what we need so much so this one in the winter is going to be used a lot it was used in the winter and like i said as soon as the sun started going and coming out i go and spend a certain amount of time outside so i don't need it at the moment but it's ready to go <laughs> come winter again so i thought this was a really good one for some people that maybe not you're not necessarily you don't have to be depressed it might be just you're just not quite feeling it and it might be something as simple as this you just need some of that light I'm not going to go into technical scientific stuff because I have no clue about that. So that was another one that was really, really good purchase for me. So that was the three that I have, I know are good. Um, this one I actually purchased, came in last week. As you can see, I have to wear pressure gloves. Um, first of all, I did think this was a fibro thing on my hands. I don't know what it is. I'm, I'm going through tests at the moment, but it's uh, one of them. Yeah. NHS is not what it used to be, should I say. I've had tests that apparently I shouldn't have had those tests and now they've sent me for other tests and it's all just a palaver. So I'm having to do what I, ca I can. I do notice when I wear these, they don't stop pain, but they do reduce the pain, definitely reduce it. Um, but I'm having a lot of uh, my hands uh, actually sticking in out position. I don't know what it is. I've Googled it and I can't find anything. Oh, just clicked. Um, it actually gets stuck and I have to physically move it, shut it physically with my other hand um, to get my fingers moving again. And I'm having trouble from there. It gets very tight. I don't know what it is. The only thing that I've ever Googled, that I've Googled about your hand sticking in place is when they stick in that position, which they've never done. So interesting. Doctor's not interested in that. Apparently I've just got some stiffness and soreness in my fingers. Uh, but it is getting steadily worse. So I have these ones. 
um, I did have a spare pair, which recently I've gone missing, probably with the other items, you know, it'll be with the um, instruction manual and stuff that I can't find. Um, so I actually did, uh, I actually did get these from Wish a long time ago, and they're only like two quid, I think, but with Wish, uh, their prices have gone up and their, um, Delivery prices have gone up, so it was going to be a lot more expensive. So I did go in the shops and have a look in the supermarkets and stuff. Cheapest you can get this that I could find was twenty-two pounds. That's a lot of pair of money for one. Found these ones for eight pounds. Don't know what they're like because I haven't opened them yet. So one of the other things I did find trouble as well is because my hands are small, so you have to measure um, across here. Um, and all of the measurements online, except this one company, came up too big. And you do have to have them fitted to your hand. Having them loose, they're not going to do anything. So, let's see. So these ones are the fingerless, the same as these. These don't have grips. These do, which will be good for work as well. Oh, they feel good. They're absolutely perfect. In fact, they're a little bit better. They're longer, as you can see. So they are actually going to help the tops of my fingers a little bit more as well. The grip is definitely is not going to be a bad thing having the grip. They feel probably slightly more... These feel more supported than these, but these are brand new. And clearly, these are not. Um, so, yeah, we've got our spare pair for about... I think they were between £7 and £8. Pound. Again, I'm gonna, I'll link it down below just in case you want to give these a go. But you do need to make sure you measure across. Don't just guess what size hand you've got because you do want the ones that are going to give you some support but you don't want to get ones that are so small that they're going to stop the circulation in your hand so yeah that was that's a good one I mean if you think I paid about two quid for these and I would go there again but like I said now it probably would be the same price as this so there you go still better than 22 pounds in the shops I'm going to take it off for now because We've got some washing up to do. So, um, I hope some of them are interesting. Uh, things maybe you hadn't thought about or you haven't tried and you might want to just take a look. I mean, like I said, you could just click the affiliate link, have a quick look, um, look at statistics, prices, delivery, clearly it all makes a difference where you live and things like that. Um, I would get a uh, if you do make any purchases I, i'm not going to lie about it i'm not recommending okay so i need to say it this way so you do understand i will never recommend anything to you that i don't believe in what i'm saying um if i bought that blanket and it was rubbish i wouldn't be recommending it to you because i'm that's just not what i'm, I'm not going to do that it's just it's not in my nature to do that so i'm only going to recommend things that i genuinely believe in um if you click on my affiliate link, I will get a percentage of any sales if anybody purchases anything. But it will not cost you anything at all. Nothing is different on your end. You won't get any extra charges or anything along those lines. Um, so, you know, you literally would be just supporting me and my channel. Um, so, obviously, if you was going to go along and purchase anyway and you decided to click my link, that would be awesome. Even if you just want to click it and have a look at... Um, statistics that I can't give you off the top of my head um, and clearly I've been talking for like 22 minutes I mean I don't I will take some out I'm sure there's some mistakes in there somewhere when I rewatch them um, a lot of the time there'll be words that I didn't even know I said so they're, they're interesting ones um, so yeah if I'd gone with statistics and stuff this would be an extremely long video so I hope some of this has been useful interesting uh haven't uh if i've missed anything that you want to know about that i haven't explained um or i didn't quite explain it in a way you understood um like i said click the comments um sometimes it takes me a little bit longer to get back to you but i do get back to any questions that i can answer and you know if it's just a comment that you just want to put out there i will um definitely read and I think I've covered everything. It wasn't as painful as I thought it was going to be. Um, if you enjoyed this type of video, let me know that as well, because that could maybe may be something I do in the future. I don't actually, I don't order 
like throughout the year and I know a lot of people like you know those joke things on Facebook where they're constantly having Amazon packages I'm not like that I don't have loads throughout the year but when I get a pile of bits and bobs that I've used and enjoyed or even if I get ones that I don't enjoy I, I can let you know I mean I don't think I've had any bad things yet from Amazon so there wouldn't be any negative things that I can show you because I would do that too but yeah uh, if you haven't subscribed and you enjoyed this video, even if it was just to have somebody talking rubbish in the background, that's still fine. Um, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.